Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I feel like I have not recorded a video in a long time. Um, I just have been busy or sick and life happens. So, But I haven't forgotten about my channel and I'm excited to um, share this with you today. Well, I don't know if I'm excited because this video is all about how I overprocessed my hair with bleach and thinned it out, um, fried it, and didn't even get the results that I wanted and I'm very very actually sad about it but I'm happy to share my experience with you and hopefully it will help you um, with some of the products that I'm using to recover my hair and just I'm gonna go over with what happened to my hair and then I'm going to tell you what I'm doing to heal my hair and so far what I have found that I have loved and what I'm doing and hopefully with whatever information I have offered you you can um, try it and see if it works for you so let's get started okay in the beginning um, my hair w was a nice um, ashy little bit like of a buttery blonde if you look back in my prior videos you'll see what color my hair has been but my roots were growing out and it was time to get my hair done my daughter is a hairstylist she just graduated um, from hair school so she's not very experienced but I've always gone to her so if you look in my prior videos I've always gone to her to have my hair highlighted and she's done a great job well now that she's out of school um, we did our first, she did her first weaving job um, at home without the instructor and we um, did bleach. We were going to just, okay, so I had a lot of brown in my hair and I had underneath my hair, this part here was um, brown and she had been telling me, mom, it'll look really good if we take that brown out and just have your hair all one color and then highlight your hair and put like also different colors in it because I wanted to mention I asked for that so anyway um, we started with bleach and developer and you can get that at Sally's and anyway so but we did it we got well we got the highlights was the name of the bleach and then we used 20 developer but you can get bleach at Sally's Beauty anyway and so we sh she went ahead and pretty much did an all-over bleach on the brown parts of my hair and it just over well I don't want to say it over let me back up it we, we put the bleach on my hair and let it set and we didn't let it where we aired in the beginning was we didn't let it set long enough and when we took out the bleach my hair was orange well I didn't want orange hair so we decided to re-bleach again um, and I was really concerned about doing that because I know what bleach does to your hair it will fry your hair and to the point where either it breaks it off or it just makes it look like a rat's nest <laughs> and it will just the integrity of your hair will be gone and I was sad but I didn't want orange hair and that, for me it was either put brown on my hair or bleach it or tone it and it was too orange so we decided just to re-bleach it and I didn't want brown hair so we re so we bleached it again for the second time and this time we took it off and my hair was platinum what well, I don't want to be platinum so what we did was um, we toned it and we toned it with T10 and T18. Wella, Wella is the brand at Sally Beauty. It's a Wella toner. We so T10 it was like an oatmeal color, and then T18, which is for like the, I think the brightest ash blonde color. Anyway, we'll insert pictures of what that looks like. And then when that when it when it came out, my hair just it was not right. It didn't look good. So we but. Um, and then when my hair came out from the second bleach and toning it, my hair was fried. It looked horrible. I'm sorry. It just, we just had a bad run. It did not work. The bleach didn't bring me to my desired results. It gave me platinum. Then we put these low lights in it. It just, it didn't look right. So then I went to Sally Beauty and doing the research I have found, um, again, with bleached hair, you can either tone it, you can put brown on it, or you can... Um, re-bleach it yeah I didn't want to re-bleach anymore because that was my second time and I didn't want to go all brown and so I went to Sally Beauty and I got the Color Brilliance Ion 10G but this 10G was not a good decision because it made me very gold very gold and a dark blonde and with the prior highlights I had I felt really ugly I did not like my hair um, at all 
So then I did a bleach wash. Yes, yeah, so now we're talking three times with bleach. Okay, so we did a bleach wash from the color with um, the gold, the gold color I put in it from Ion, okay? Because I didn't like that color. And then we did, um, that we just let it sit. And this is where I'm gonna start telling you about the healing process, okay? Because my hair, I don't know if you can tell, and you probably can't, because again, compare my other videos to how I look now. But, and my hair is unstyled, no blow dry, it's washed and just let it air dry. And this is what you're seeing right now. But my hair, and I know, I don't wanna complain because I know there are people with a lot thinner hair and I respect that, but for me, I'm used to thicker hair and it has the integrity of my hair. The integrity of my hair is so bad right now. It is so, so thin. Like it's this tiny little ponytail that I can put it in. I can just, it feels like a rat's nest and something that, okay, so let me back up. So when I had all this happen to my hair, and then this morning I did do another bleach wash and that is it. That's because I still wasn't happy with my color and I was crazy and I went and did it. So that's the fourth time putting bleach on my hair. Some people are probably just gonna comment that I'm really dumb and I'm, but you have to be happy with yourself and I was not happy with my color and I was determined to fix this myself because this is the second time I've turned my hair orange. Now that I realized I've ruined my hair, um, I did some research and what I would do is at night I would literally take as much as I needed probably it literally was probably a fourth cup of this stuff and I put it in my hands and I started with the ends working my way up all the way up and I wrapped it in like a thin towel and I put a towel and when I went to bed this is all at night and when I went to bed I laid the towel out your hair can be dry or wet in my opinion I think it works better if your hair is like slightly damp when you're putting the coconut oil in just it feels like you can get all throughout your hair and I would lay at night with my hair with all that coconut oil in it and if you don't have anywhere to go the next day don't worry about washing it out unless you want to wash it out put in now here's some other products that I'm going to highly highly recommend this is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioner and it has Aragon oil and Moroccan oil in it. So put this stuff in it. It's a leave-in conditioner and it really helps with the moist moisturizing your hair um, throughout the day. You could do coconut oil too, but it, it's thicker and it really makes your hair look oily. And if you're okay with that, by all means, keep using the coconut oil too. And then let's see. Also, I feel like another product that is good if you're on um, if you're on a budget and you want to make sure that you're not spending a ton of money. This is a uh, conditioner that after washing your hair um, you shampooing it then this is a very good conditioner I have found I know there's some people out there that say suave is really horrible but for this I found that it really softened my hair up a lot it's the Moroccan infusion suave and again it's got Moroccan and argon argon oil in it and it's just a really nice deep conditioning for after you shampoo. I again I went on YouTube and I looked and researched and I found repeatedly people saying that this mane and tail deep moisturizing um, conditioner so again after you wash your hair put this in it and it, it's good for if you're on a budget um, it's a good conditioner for your hair and I have used it and so far I feel like it's pretty good but I haven't used it long term so um, but so far that's what I'm using in my hair to recover it and then I've used this before and this was recommended time and time again for my researches on YouTube. I got this the other day at Walmart and it's like three bucks. So, and this is, again, after you wash your hair, this is a conditioner that you wash out, but you keep it in your hair for at least three minutes. I think I kept it in for like five. And I really feel like this helps just make your hair feel moisturized and softened a little bit from my fried hair. If you do have bleached hair that's still pretty blonde and has some yellow pigment to it, like mine does, um, once a week, you can use this Shimmer Lights. Um, I'm recommending once a week you do whatever works for you, but it can turn your hair purple, but it will wash out, so it's not permanent. But this is what I'm gonna use the next time I wash my hair. I used it um, before, and I swore by this stuff. It, and, and you do any research on this, people love it. It is it is good. It's Shimmer Lights, you can get it at Sally Beauty. That is really good if you're looking to get brassiness out of your hair. Sulfate was a taboo especially in healing your hair. So I went and I got this L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfate Free Smoothing Shampoo. This is not something I have used long term, so I'm not sure if it's going to make the integrity of my hair feel better or not, but I am. I figure it's worth a try. So this is what I am trying. Um, I know washing your hair 
can actually be damaging and um, it's recommended. I've heard to only wash your hair like once or twice a week. And then also, um, I'm almost done, but this brush, I got it at Salon, is it Salon Centric? Anyway, I got this brush at a um, beauty store and I'm sure you can get it online or find it maybe in your local beauty store. Maybe Sally's has it. It's called the Wet Brush. And let me tell you right now, this is like been one of my lifesavers because when you over process and bleach your hair and it's feels like a rat's nest the average brush at least that i have and we have lots of brushes doesn't uh, fare so well in my hair it pulls and it breaks it but this is a really soft okay it's probably not the best example right now but especially when my hair is wet with some leave-in conditioner this will like go right through it and it's soft and it's gentle and it doesn't pull on my hair nearly as much as the other brushes that I own. So if you're really concerned about the integrity of your hair and you're afraid it's gonna split and break off, I would highly recommend the wet brush, okay? And just a few tips, if you don't wanna wash your hair and you, um, a hat, this hat has been my lifesaver, wear a hat, put your hair in a ponytail and put it back in a hat. <laughs> That's what I have been doing. And so I don't have a ponytail holder, but you can, or you can just have your hair out, you know, if you don't mind the color. But that's how I've been living. I've been living with a hat on. So I, I have hat head a lot. But anyway, I thought for today, I'm going to just let you guys see me how it looks with my overprocessed hair. This just happened about four or five days ago. And so um, I'm really sad about it. This is not my desired hair color. I still want it less brassy, orangey, yellowish looking. I don't want it as, again, if you look at my old videos, that's pretty much the color I want. And then I'm, so I'm going to let my hair recover probably for another a um, couple of weeks, maybe even a month. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and another tip for wearing your hair is um, maybe having someone, or if you know how to do it, is braid, like braid back your hair is another tip. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have fried your hair, I have compassion on you because I know what it's like. But I do know, that, again, this is the second time I've ruined my hair. It does recover. It just takes time and it takes effort to put good products into your hair that will help heal it and just baby it back and you will get your hair back eventually. So it just takes time. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.